Hello and welcome to Many and Double Productions, Random Thoughts and Observations. I'm your host, David E. McClendon Sr., and today we're going to review the book Beyond the Quest to Become a Physician by Robert E. Burke, M.D. and Ph.D. But first, a word of prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. Thank you for all the many blessings you've bestowed upon us. Thank you for all of our YouTube watchers, our blog readers, uh, those uh, that we've met via the blogs and the YouTube channel, those friends that we've made that way. Thank you for all of our friends and relatives. Please watch over us all, guide us all, direct us all, and keep us safe from all harm. It's in Christ, most holy and most precious name that we pray. Amen. Well, the book Beyond the Quest to Become a Physician by Robert E. Burke is a very interesting read, but let me first explain our rating system. Now, our blogs, blogs, and this YouTube channel are Christian-based. We're fundamentalists, as in we are very, very strongly rooted in our beliefs that uh, the Bible is completely inerrant. It's the God-breathed uh, Word, or God's Word breathed out. And uh, quite frankly, we don't believe in using the Lord's name in vain. So if it occurs even one time within a book, that... Uh, star rating that we have from zero to five stars, it goes all the way down to zero stars. Um, and from that point forward, it's very difficult. As a matter of fact, most books don't make it back up to one star from that. But, but wait, we're going to explain a little bit about that here in a little bit, and we'll get back to that in just a second. But let me tell you about the book. Now, this is a very interesting read. It's very fun. It, when you read through it, you get to the last page, you say, wow. And it's kind of like a fiction book in that, you know, in a fiction book there are often times that you've developed a friend in the main character or some of the main characters, you've found a friend, and then when uh, the book is over you're like, sorry that they're gone. And rereading it, it just isn't the same thing. Um, you're sorry that, you're gone, that the book is gone. You wish you hadn't finished it. And uh, it's that kind of book. When you get done, you're like, wow, you know, that's like a, a friend that uh, I won't get to see you. And uh, the only time I get to see them again is if I reread the book. And quite frankly, that's not quite the same experience. Anyway, this book is very well written. It's very interesting. Um, there are times along the way you feel sad um, for the main character. There are times that you feel happy. There are times you wonder, well, how is this going to work out? And, uh, well, you've read the back of the book, so you know he became a physician. But you see along the way, hey... How did he get past this? And he tells you. And there are times, I need to be quite honest with you, there are times in the book that I kind of zoned out like a zombie when he was talking uh, about some uh, different medical terminology. But that doesn't last. It's kind of like a uh, getting a shot. It's uh, over with in just a second. The pain goes away very quickly. Other than that, the book is a wonderful read. It's one of those things that you really can't put down. Um, I, along the way while reading this, I had to remind myself, well, uh, it's about time to eat. And there were times I thought, well, you know, it's only been 10 or so hours since the last time I went to the bathroom. I can hold out a little bit longer to, to finish this last chapter here, that kind of thing. It's that interesting to read. It was very fun for me. Um, and it is auto, autobiographical in nature. And so it's a true life story. And you're reading this, you're thinking, wow, wow. And uh, you couldn't make this kind of stuff up. It's just interesting. There's uh, sad things. There's happy things. There's funny things. Uh, there's exciting things. There's adventure. Uh, I really would have liked to have uh, him go into more detail on some of the different uh, medical cases that he had, some of the different uh, people that he treated and that sort of thing. And in reading this, you had to wonder, how in the world did this man have time to do all of this? And he explained a couple of different times. It was through very careful time management. But quite frankly, somehow he managed to squeeze about 50 hours into a day if he did all the things that he uh, did. But he obviously did it. So how he was able, he was evidently, should probably write a book on time management as uh, good as he must have been to get through all these things. And he actually did it, so um, there's no question about, did he do it? I wholeheartedly suggest this uh, book to you. It got, made its way all the way back up to five stars after having lost for the one time that it used the Lord's name in vain in, uh, within the covers of the book. You use it one time. There are no other profane words, no other dirty words, nothing else, no um, 
unchristian like mentions of anything everything is uh, wonderful it's uh, Christian friendly as a matter of fact uh, he appears to be a professing Christian and that's great that's wonderful it fits well within what our blog is all about we hope you'll pick up your copy today if you read this and you like it and you want to drop us a note to tell us about uh, what you thought about the book or if you just have questions or comments about other things, please drop me an email over at gindysvideos at gmail.com. That's G-I-N-D-Y-S-V-I-D-E-O-S at gmail.com. Like us if you would. Please subscribe to this channel if you would. And we thank you. This is a Federal Trade Commission required notice. When you click on an advertisement that is displayed with this video, or just before it, we receive a small commission. Sometimes, if you merely watch an ad, we receive commission. If you purchase anything by clicking on links on any of our websites, we receive a commission as well. Manian Devil Productions is a participant in the Amazon Services LLC Associates Program an affiliate advertising program designed to provide a means for sites to earn advertising fees by advertising and linking to Amazon.com. Wow, Gindy, it sounds like this Dr. Uh, Burt Food. What's a food? PhD. It's a kind of degree that you get. Degree of what? Like hot, cold, that sort of thing? No, 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 no. It's uh, like you go to school and you get uh, a degree. So he went to school to get a food? Yeah, and he went to school to get a mud, too. A mud? What's a mud? MD. I thought that was mud. No. Uh, you think this doctor could treat me? I think you need all kind of treatment. And he did take a bit of a delve into psychiatry. Psychiatry? That's crazy, man. No, it's not. email address now and if you like me and you want to see more of me that's all what it's all about drop me an email over to seemorehamlet at gmail.com that's the letter c dot m o o r e dot h a m l e t at gmail.com thank you bye this video made possible by manian double productions